Good morning, my dear friends. Welcome back to my channel, Prodbug. I am Sheetal, and we are going through the uh, advanced API automation concepts. Fine. So let's continue and uh, uh, just have a, uh, just see how we can read a dynamic JSON. This is one of the important topic and very interesting topic. And the concept is like that. Uh, let's say if there are two JSONs, but the structure is uh, some particular node is changing, uh, okay, dynamically, and but we need to write the same code and we need to read two different JSONs uh, in which the nodes are changing. Okay, I will give you a practical example with that. And, and this is a very practical uh, example. So let's say, uh, let's assume that there is a Flipkart, Amazon, and we have different different categories, right? Mobile, shoes. Okay, so on general, their structure is almost same, like name, category, whatever. But yeah, in details, you can see there is a change. In case of shoes, you can see that there will be name and category, like name is something and the category is shoes. But details are like size, color, and material. Right, because in shoes we have a size, we have a color, and we have a material. Right, but in case of mobile, we don't have these attributes. Right, in in mobile, you can just uh, you can find that there are display aspect ratio, audio connector, or whatever. Let's say pixels. Uh, there can be a pixel key, or uh, battery charger, or whatever. Right. So that uh, what I mean to say that in case of mobile, the details are different. And in case of shoes, the details are different. And in case of clothes, definitely the details will be different, right? So, so for every category, these section will be changing dynamically all the time. And these two things like name and category will remain the same. Okay, this is our, our example. So for every category, we are not going to write n number of code. Right. Let's say if there are 10 categories in flipkart.com. So we are not going to write 10 codes for reading same type of JSON. We will write same code for reading every JSON. Okay. This is what is dynamic JSON. Okay. Let's. So this is the case I show you. So uh, I will show. You, uh, okay. So this is the thing. Okay. Uh, you can uh, generate. Uh, the POJOs I have shown in the last chapter if uh, not if you forgot so this is the site you can add your uh, JSON here you can copy paste and you can generate the POJOs I have generated and this is the POJO simple POJO one string uh, two strings with name and category and look here this is a JSON node okay <clears throat> okay uh, let me generate once more we'll see uh, it will be uh, different here okay these are okay fine and preview see what they have done they have done uh, created a details and there is a string string two strings and what else then there is a one more class with the user by like details okay so the, uh, in in this case they are generating uh, so this is for the static json if our uh, json would have been static then we would have copied this particular structure but in our case this is dynamic so we can't copy as it is from here okay we cannot copy this structure okay we can copy a bit but the third node is very important this is dynamic so we we will not create a class with details okay rather than creating a separate class whose name is details which we have just shown here we will rather create a node json node here okay this is the reference you can go through this link also uh, but i will explain you here also so this is a json node details okay and under this it can be anything okay we will see so this is clear to you these are the two JSONs and these are changing. Whatever the JSON part is changing, we have created a JSON node for that. As simple as that. Whatever is static, we have created normal strings or whatever, right? Whatever is changing, we will create a JSON node for that. This is this is important thing. Okay, just uh, that's why I'm repeating again and again. Okay, that's it. Only this much is required. Now let's go to the main code, our test class. Okay, so there are two sets one for reading a mobile and one for reading a shoes okay and this is the method 
which is actually reading so what this method is doing we are passing the json path here uh, okay and object mapper okay let's see what uh, the, this is the object mapper i am using the jackson uh, let me show you the okay i am using a jackson library here and uh, we have created a object uh, object mapper i am passing this particular object to this method uh, and what else json path json path is let me show you i'm calling this particular method here this is the uh, json path okay mobile.json right so whatever the json you have you simply provide the path of that and the object mapper in this second case we are passing the shoes.json in the first case we are passing mobile.json right there are two json mobile and shoes right code will be same two things we are passing here and what the object mapper is doing it's reading the value from that file and the class references product json node this is this class product json node this class okay this class can be user or whatever okay so we are giving the reference of this class and we are passing the object mapper right this is clear and it's returning the object of that class object json node okay now we are giving the path here we are passing this path and object mapper and in return we get the object of the class okay now see get name will be read from here nokia 300 uh, get category it should be cell phone and get details audio connector and display aspect ratio because we know that these are the keys present in that json so in our test cases we know that what we are fetching so you have to give this accordingly and in second case we are fetching the name and category so name is bata shoes category is shoes and these are the size color material right these are the attributes so we are passing here get size color material okay these things we know that in our test case what we are fetching that's why we can give these names right but the code for reading that json two different json will remain same exactly same okay let's run this class and we'll see the magic with same code and we are able to fetch two different see we are able to fetch name name category cell phone and these are the uh, key value and in second case we are fetching the name category and all these things the values key value right so this is a very good example of dynamic json which i have shown you and this is very practical and actually uh, getting used in the projects okay uh, this is one way uh, there is a one twist here there is one more code then rather than json node we can use map also here okay so in the next chapter i will show you rather than using the json node how you can use a map to handle the same situation in the similar way fine okay friends thank you for watching this particular uh, video have a good day bye bye